Welcome back, parents. Welcome back, students. How's everyone? How is that Lent journey going? I hope it's going well. Don't give up. Keep going. Keep going with Lent. So let us begin with prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving God, help us to use the time of Lent to grow closer to you and one another. Give us hearts that love the poor and help us make sacrifices that will help them. We want to love you and your people better. We ask this, Lord, in your name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. So the theme for this week is Lent is a time to grow in faith. Jesus teaches us to be faithful. So 40 days, we, uh, we are invited to grow as Christians and show our belief in God's promises. Jesus was in the desert for 40 days. He was tempted in the desert. Jesus puts his trust in God. So that's what we're called to do. Jesus put his trust in God especially during that time that he was being tempted. He knew that God would help him during those times of temptation while he was in the desert. So it's a time to pray and to help and to share and to forgive. One word that you're going to be hearing, good news students, is the word covenant. And a covenant is a commitment of faith and love between God and his people. So you're going to be reading uh, a Bible story for the good news. It is the Bible story of Noah. And so if you haven't read or you can't remember quite what happens, that is something that you're going to be doing, good news students, at, on the front cover. So you're going to be talking about Noah and the covenant that God made with Noah about at the end of the flood. So uh, let us let us begin um, with our um, the gospel. So the gospel, and once again, I'm going to be reading it from the Missalette. So if you do have the Missalette, it's good, parents, to follow along. Help your children to follow along. The whole mass is in these in these Missalettes. So it's a good time to start learning and start getting familiar with the um, Missalette. It has all the prayers. It has the little the little uh when we're supposed to bow when we're supposed to kneel when we're supposed to stand so parents this is very informational this missalette can can answer a lot of questions about the mass for you so let us begin so this to today the gospel is a reading from the holy gospel according to mark so this year we're, we're going to concentrate a little bit more on the gospel of mark so once again, when the gospel is read by the priest or by the deacon, we once it is announced, then we cross our forehead and we cross our lips and we cross our heart. And we are ready to listen to the gospel. So the gospel is, the spirit drove Jesus out into the desert and he remained in the desert for 40 days tempted by Satan. He was among wild beasts, and the angels ministered to him. After John had been arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. And that is the gospel of the Lord. So what they were saying, what Jesus is saying, yeah, he is tempted. He's tempted, uh, but we have to repent. We have to repent and believe in God. So this week in your in your good news, you're going to have a, a calendar of the good news students of the things that are suggestions that you can do during Lent. So each week we're going to give you other suggestions that you can do that will help you in that journey through Lent, through that desert, 
suggestions that you can do. Um, because sometimes we kind of think, well, I don't know what to do. What can I do? So we're going to, we're going to give you those, some of those suggestions. And then maybe later on, you're going to think of your own suggestions. And for the little ones promise, you have a, in yours, you're going to do a little prayer box. And so I've already made one. And so parents, it's not that hard, but you will need scissors and your glue stick. And you can make a little prayer box during the, for this during the time of Lent. And um, so I, I, you know, I challenge you, uh, students and parents, you can even put your own prayers, maybe write them on a little piece of paper, just a name. Because God knows if you put a name, God will know who you're, who that is. And you can place it in there and put it on your table or put it, if you have a little spot that you have a prayer area, a prayer table, then you can put your little prayer box there. So it does show the instructions on how to do that. So this is going to be something very exciting for the little ones to do, but they will need some help, parents. They will need some help. And it also, um, for the, for the good news, you're going to, Ha, hear the story. You have the story of Mark, St. Mark. And um, it's a very interesting story. It's one page, but it's a very interesting story of how Mark, what Mark, what St. Mark did, um, how he was with St. Paul. And, um, but it's a very, very uh, good story. Why is he portrayed with a lion? And it tells you. So I won't tell you, but you can read it and you can find out why is St. Mark sometimes pictured with a lion? So that'll be something that you can also do in your, um, in, so you have two stories. Good news, you're going to have a story of Noah and you're going to have a story of St. Mark. So God willing, we'll have other saints that you're going to be talking about in your, in your books. And promise, you have Jesus teaches us to be faithful. So you have a little picture of, of um, for Ash Wednesday. So once again, parents, journey, journey with your children. Um, maybe you can cut out things, things that you don't really need um, to, or maybe do things together as a family. So start those things, especially during this time of Lent. So other than your, your, your pages, good news, you'll also have in your catechism, page 5, 51 and 52. And you're going to be talking about belief. Amen. What what does amen mean? And the creed. <coughs> Excuse me. And for promise, you will do page 18. And that is the holy seasons of Lent, Lent and, East, and Easter. Let us close with prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, bless us all as we pray and do loving actions during Lent. We believe in you and trust in your promises. Help our faith to grow. Help us to show our faith in our actions. Be with us, Lord, as we journey through this desert during this time of Lent. We ask all this, Lord Jesus, in your name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much, parents. We will see you next time. Bye-bye. And students.